I talked of a triangle. I addressed the party. I addressed the human component. Mm -hmm. I talked about the religion that I left unspoken. Please knock on any church, on any of your neighbor. Visit your bishops. Let them understand that this game is not of the religion. Mm -hmm. And two reasons I'll give you shortly before we finish. There were primaries in all the two political, two major political parties. Majority of the aspirants were Christians. They stepped down in identifying the capacity amongst them. All of them stepped out, PDP did it first, stepped down for Atiku. Knowing fully well he's not a Christian. The same in the APC. Now the second block is the numerical strength. That's what politics is all about. We died here. Fortunately, they chose their own leadership from the tribe that is major, take it to live in. The political block in this country is the House of Land. Mm. They are more expert in that. Mm. If you want technocrats, you go to the Eurobas. If you want the China industrialization, you go to the East. That's how it is. Mm. They are masters of this game. Then the opposition have their own one from that camp. Then is our turn. Many were saying then that the language of the president was that he didn't want us in Waju. It was given to the South. Voluntarily, everybody stepped down again and chose Asiwaju. Our own father, our leader, and who we are proud. And we stand for him. But you must strike the political balance. That's all that is about. Now you know and I know. I am a minority, Ariwa. She's a minority, Ariwa. You know and I know that they put all the minority tribes together. We are not this other tribe. How then do they want us to strike a balance? Many might push it to the religious line, but they weren't thinking of religion when these decisions were taken. Our religions as mothers, let's stand for it and protect it and guard it jealously. No religion should be rubbished. No bishop should be undermined. The same as my faith. We were born and we are people before we embraced any religion. So we are doing our leadership. Leave our religions out of it. Let the mothers tell them. Tell one to tell ten. When religious war breaks out, women, we bear the brunt too. Is it your husband you are to carry? Oh, your children. children. Yeah, children. Oh, for the grandmothers yeah, that their children are in, it's scattered across Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Married in various homes. Mm. If you come to my house, I don't have a single caterer Muslim. They are all Christians. Where do we go to? Check from my security, all down. Confirm. Let's Confirm. 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 So that is a message for our sisters to say it loud. Let them say it on the mountain and everywhere that to us here, it is politics. May they leave religion for church and mosque. When you enter a plane or a ship, have you ever asked who is piloting or the captain? Has anybody ever dropped in the sky to say, open the door, is a Christian or a Muslim piloting? So what is wrong with us? Treat this politics like that ship that will take you from one destination to the other. And the captain, we don't want to know their religion. We want those that will take us to the front line. Thank you very much. The time for campaign will come. We shall meet in peace. Form associations, Christians, put yourselves together, Muslim women. We have lots of defenses to do. Not only the Christians, even the Muslims. Not the South, not the North, but as women this time around, we will speak with a bang. We will speak volume that we want unity in this country.
our patron.